Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about triple integrals. So now I will show you how to answer. We want to find the volume of the solid in the first octant is above the plant z equals to number 2 and below the paraboloid z equals to 9 minus s square minus 9 square. So here is about the figure in here. So we have z equals to number 2. That's it about the green one. And we can see like this. And we have z equal to 9 minus s square minus y square. So that's it about the blue one in here. So on the question, let's just concentrate about the first octant. The first octant, that means everything in here, that should be about on positive. So this is about the first octant in here. So we can put into the triple integrals. So we have dz, dy, ds. So upon the plan z equals to number 2, so number 2 in the bottom in here, belongs to this one, that is about 9 minus s square minus 9 square. So we want to find the bounds of y and s. If we look carefully on the figure in here, this one that is about the circle on z equals to number 2. So this one I will put z equals to number 2 cone here. We put this one go to the left number two go to the right nine minus number two we have number seven so the bounds of this one that is about the circle in here with the radius is about the square root of number seven to the power of two so the question that is concentrate about the first octant. So about y square in here, I will put s square go to the right. Later that we put the square root for the both side. Because this is about first octant, so y should greater than or equal to number 0. And the bounds in here, smaller than or equals to the square root of y minus s square. So about dy, so we have number 0 in here. And the next one, that is about the square root of number 7 minus s square. Now, we need to graph about the circle. I want to illustrate in here. This one, that's about first octant. So we have the square root of number 7, square root of number 7, negative with the square root of number 7, and similar for this one. So, this is about number 0 in here. We just concentrate about this area. So, about S, we see that from 0 to the square root of number 7. So, the S we put in here. And now we need to calculate these interactions. So, the integration of the s we have, uh, the z we have this, we have z. So, 
So we put the bounds from number 2 to 9 minus s square minus 9 square. So I will put this one going here, number 2 going here. Nine minus number two, we have number seven. The next one we can use about four coordinates. So we put about S equals to R side theta y equals to r side theta s square plus y square equals to r cosine theta everything to the power of 2 plus r side theta everything to the power of 2 so we have r square and r square we can do about factorization. So this one equals to number one. So we have all square in here. dy ds we change by r dr d theta about the bounds we just rough about the circle in here. So, about the bounds, we change by dr, d theta. So, dr, we will have about r is richer than or equal to number 0 and smaller than or equals to the square root of number 7 because this is about the radius of the circle. Theta, we see that we start in here and we stop in here. So we can use about trigonometric circle and we have from 0 to b over 2 in here. And now we put everything. So s square and y square we change by r square. Negative we put outside and that's why we have negative R square. dy dx we change by R dr d theta. This one from 0 to the square root of number 7. This one we change by 0 to b over 2. Now we need to calculate about this one. So all multiplied by all square and number seven. The integration of R we have seven R square over two. This one we have R to the power of four over four. And we put the bounds from 0 to the square root of number 7. Now we put the square root of number 7 going here, number 0 going here. So we have about 49 over number 4. And now we have the final answer in here.
This is the end. Thank you for watching.